Every year, Career Space at Trent hosts a career expo where employers meet with students looking for summer, part-time, full-time jobs, and experiential learning opportunities. Attending the Career Expo allows you to connect with employers to learn about their opportunities and what they're looking for in their candidates. Meeting with company recruiters gives you an advantage since you get to know people by name and they get to know more about you than what they would by just reading your resume. Here's how to prepare for the Career Expo. First, research the employers. Researching employers who will be attending the Expo will allow you to be prepared and ask good questions. When you register for the event, you'll be able to see which employers are coming and start to make a list of the employers you would like to meet. If this is a virtual fair, after you register, you can visit a virtual booth where the organization posts information about who they are, what they do, and the types of roles that they have available. You can also check their websites and follow them on LinkedIn. Second, prepare your resume. At an in-person fair, you may or may not be asked for your resume, but be prepared to offer one. The employer may direct you to apply on their online careers page. However, this doesn't mean that they will not flag your resume from the online system if you make a really great impression. Third, create your profile. For online expos, you'll have the opportunity to create a profile with information such as your program and positions that you're interested in. You can also upload your resume and provide a link to your LinkedIn profile. This is a great way to show employers you're prepared and professional. Fourth, prepare your introduction. Have a quick introduction ready. Some people call this an elevator pitch. This could be short and include your program, year of study, and a little about you, such as your relevant courses, work and volunteer experience, or extracurricular activities. Here's an example of a good pitch. I'm very interested in learning more about park interpreter positions with Parks Canada. I'm studying biology and have experience working as a camp counselor, so I think I would be a good fit with my degree and my leadership skills. Could you tell me more about the position and what kind of experience you're looking for? Then you would want to have some questions prepared to follow up. Fifth, prepare to connect with employers at the expo. At a virtual fair, you can connect directly with employers. You may begin with a text chat, which could then turn into a more in-depth conversation over a video call. So although your meeting with an employer may not be called an interview, an employer can spend enough time with you to decide whether they would like to invite you to an interview at another date and time. Always be prepared, professional, and friendly, as employers can be actively screening individuals in or out of the recruitment process. You can also ask for their contact information to follow up with them at a later date. When using the text chat function, make a good impression by texting in full sentences and spelling correctly. This can take time, so it is a good idea to prepare a written introduction, some information about yourself, and some prepared questions about this company and the position. Base those questions on your research. Have these ready to copy and paste into the chat. To get ready for video calls, prepare a suitable background with good lighting and check to make sure that your technology is functioning properly. Also, try to plan for no interruptions. Be prepared to talk about your skills and experience and why you're interested in the company and which positions you're interested in. At in-person fairs and on video calls, dress appropriately and professionally as you would for an interview. After the event, reflect on your experience and review your notes. Using contact information from the fair or information you found online, make sure to send thank you messages. This may also be a good time to tailor your resume and cover letter and forward them for potential opportunities based on the interactions you had at the event.